All right, uh, we have chip of the day, uh, thanks to uh, Mike's from Mike Radio Repair. Um, we have a Max uh, 9814 evaluation kit, microphone amplifier compression board. So uh, looks like this came from DigiKey. Um, yeah, evaluation kit. Anyway, uh, chip of the day is the Max chip. And as it says, um, 2.7 to 5.5. So uh, I think it's best to look at the block diagram. Um, block diagram, here we go. Well, not block diagram, but this is how you would wire it up. Uh, so it has a microphone input and then some line output. And then it does its amplification thing. And uh, the this is the, the board. So it's got some jumpers. You can jumper the gain, two different gain settings. And you can set the compression attack time and release. Uh, you, can, you can set those things with little jumper things. And that's the board we're going to be using. Um, here's, a, here's kind of a block diagram. Does that, does that help? <laughs> uh, so uh, if you use a, an electric microphone, it needs biasing. It needs, it needs to have a pull up on its FET, and that's supplied by the part and then it's AC coupled in and there's a low noise amplifier and then a variable gain amplifier and then a gain amplifier and then yeah anyway that's what it is uh, AGC uh, three gain settings huh 40 dB 50 dB 60 dB that's a lot uh, blah 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 so I say we let's, let's play with it all right here is the little board and I've connected a microphone uh, this little electric microphone to the input. Uh, the line output, I have it, have it going into a, a Zoom recorder. Uh, so we can see what we have to say. Um, so I think this is kind of more of an audio thing than a video thing, but let me move you over so you're out of the way. All right. Um, so let me, uh, I have everything kind of pointed towards me, but I need to adjust the, uh, I need to adjust the levels here. Hello, test. Okay, that's pretty good. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to switch over to the uh, to the Zoom recorder, and I'm using its uh, internal microphone. There's a cross microphone in the front here, and uh, I can. Uh, there's a mixer, so this Zoom recorder can have five different channels in it, and I'm bringing in the line into channel four. Let me apply power to the. Uh, to the board here. So let me uh, let me turn on channel four and uh, all right now let me do some monitoring here see if I can hear myself. So th th this seems to be working pretty good. Um, there's going to be some ambient noise um, and but I can adjust the gain here. So here's the gain down, here's the gain up. So there's quite a bit of level output. The zoom is set with a 20 dB pad uh, connected, so it's down a bit. But that sounds pretty good. Um, let's see here. <clears throat> it is compressed, though, which means it's going to amplify quiet sections, which means it's going to pick up a lot of room noise. Um, and let's see here. Let's look at the J things here. J2 is gain. Let's find J2. All right, whoa, that added a lot more gain. All right, so I don't want that. Let's turn that down. All right, that's better. Um, and then the compression and stuff, J4, 5, and 6, which of these guys is our capacitor, so we can flip in and out. Whoa. All right, oh, there we go. Now it's not compressing as much. Hello, test, test, test. Hello, test. Yeah, so I sort of like that setting better. It's not uh, bringing up the uh, noise level too far. And so anyway, uh, you get the idea here. You can do a whole bunch of things. What does J1 do? J1, I don't think does much of anything. All right, J1 was mute. <laughs> 
And uh, anyway, there you go. If you need a little microphone thing, let's take a look at the data sheet a little bit more. So we have uh, applications, digital still cameras, video cameras, PDAs, Bluetooth, blah, 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 blah. Uh, the total harmonic distortion is 0.04%. Pretty good. Um, anyway, I'm no uh, no audio guy, really. What I do know is if, if you're ever going to do a YouTube channel, audio is the most important thing. The very, very first and the very, very most important part is getting your audio right. It took me a long time to find a combination that worked in the garage with my voice and was easy to do and required little, little, uh, I do no post-processing on the audio, so... Yeah, it, it takes a long time to figure that all out, and then you don't want to don't want to muck with it. <laughs> uh, you probably noticed my voice changed a lot when we went to the Zoom recorder. Um, let's go back to that. Uh, these Zoom recorders have these uh, crossed uh, crossed microphones on the input, uh, and uh, yeah, so they are pretty fancy. Uh, they have. Uh, my friend sold this to me for $75, which is just a great deal. Um, it's got uh, four inputs for XLR or uh, a regular phono jacks. Uh, these are combo things. And uh, so you get four inputs there, uh, and these can have uh, phantom power. And then it has, uh, it has this um, different modules. And you can also bring in uh, a, a eighth inch jack and stuff. So yeah, it's pretty nice. It's a pretty nice unit. And then you've got all of the mixers. So you've got left, right, one, two, three, and four. Um, pretty, pretty good. And then you can monitor. I was monitoring with a, with a headphone. Um, yeah, I like these things. Okay, that was chip of the day, a Maxim Max 9814 uh, amplifier and compressor.